Welcome to CPCS Questions and Answers. The latest questions and answers for CPCS Theory Test 2021, UK. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to support this channel. Question 1. Name three ways that a plant operator can contribute in ensuring repeat business with the client or principal contractor. The correct answer is 1. Compliance with the method statements 2. Cooperation with the workforce 3. Safe working practices Question 2. Using the operator's manual, state the figure for the tire's operating pressure. Note, the operator's manual for the machine being used for the test must be available for reference by the candidate. The correct answer is The operator's manual will be provided by the test center and you will have to look at the index and find the tires chapter, go there and read the figure for the tire pressure. The page number must be read as well. Question 3 If the operator has to top up the hydraulic oil, state two precautions to ensure cleanliness of the system. The correct answer is 1. Clean the filler cap and the area surrounding before topping up. 2. Use only clean transfer equipment. Question 4. Name three conditions that mirrors on the machine must be in. The correct answer is. 1. Must be fitted. 2. Must be clean. 3. Must be adjusted. 4. Should not be damaged. Question 5. If the loading shovel is being traveled or working on the public highway, including adjacent pavement and verges, the Road Traffic Act applies. A. What type of license and which classes should the operator hold? And B. What is the minimum age allowed? The correct answer is. A. Full UK driving license, category B. B. The minimum age allowed is. 18 years old. Question 6. What is the definition, or how can a hazard be described? The correct answer is. A hazard is anything that can cause harm to people, property, or environment. Question 7. Before leaving the cab for a rest break, after parking, and switching off the machine, what final action must be carried out? The correct answer is. Machine must be isolated, windows closed, door closed, and locked. Question 8. The operator has to fit and use a new bucket, using a quick hitch coupler that they are unfamiliar with. What do regulations, i.e. PUWER 98, and other guidance require the operator to have? The correct answer is. Appropriate training and up-to-date information for that particular piece of equipment. Question 9. If checking the oil level using a dipstick, why must gloves be worn? The correct answer is. Gloves must be worn to avoid oil contact with the skin which can cause skin problems. Question 10. How can a qualification or card benefit a plant operator? The correct answer is. The operator can prove his skills, have better prospects of employment and promotion. Question 11. Why should a loading shovel be refueled at the end of the day? The correct answer is. The machine should be refueled at the end of the day to prevent condensation building up in the tank as it's cooling down. Question 12. When constructing a ramp to load a crusher, name three considerations to take into account. The correct answer is. 1. If the ramp is firm and solid enough. 2. The ramp must be wide enough. 3. The ramp must not be too steep. Question 13. Many loading shovels have limited slip axles. How can this help production? The correct answer is. It minimizes wheel spin making the machine more efficient. Question 14. 
What is the purpose of a risk assessment? The correct answer is. The purpose of a risk assessment is to identify and place control measures on hazards. Question 15. Who should determine the maximum load that should be placed into the body of the dump truck? The correct answer is. The dump truck driver. Question 16. Smaller loading shovels may be equipped with a clamshell bucket. Name two functions of this type of bucket. The correct answer is. 1. Grab function. 2. Spread function. Question 17. What does the Health and Safety at Work Act require employers to do with regards specifically to plant? The correct answer is. The employer must ensure the plant is safe and maintained. Question 18. What problems and hazards can soft ground cause to a loaded loading shovel? The correct answer is. Soft ground decreases traction which can cause the loading shovel to get stuck, sink, or overturn. Question 19. Name four different types or levels of disciplinary actions or sanctions that can be applied, by employers and judicial bodies, to operators of plant who do not comply with, or follow legislation and regulations. The correct answer is. 1. Verbal warnings. 2. Written warnings. 3. Loss of the job, dismissal. 4. Prosecution. 5. Fine. 6. Prison sentence. Question 20. When working in a confined area or space, name three hazards that can occur. The correct answer is. 1. Reduced visibility. 2. Proximity hazards. 3. Noise and fumes. Question 21. Using the operator's manual, state the cold starting procedure for the machine. Note, the operator's manual for the machine being used for the test must be available for reference by the candidate. The correct answer is. Find the cold start procedure in the index, go to the page and read the paragraph that describes the cold start procedure. Page number must be read as well. Question 22. A. Name three purposes of the raised lugs on tires, and B. What can happen to a loading shovel if the lugs are severely worn? The correct answer is. A. 1. Providing help when braking. 2. Providing adherence on soft ground. 3. Assisting when steering. b. Worn or bald tires can cause skidding or sliding making steering more difficult, and the tire more vulnerable to punctures. Question 23. List 6 typical subject areas that should be covered in a site induction. The correct answer is. 1. First aid. 2. Escape routes. 3. Lifting operations. 4. Working at heights. 5. Site layout and welfare facilities. 6. Working in confined spaces. 7. Method statements. Question 24. Give two examples of where the work at height regulations, 1995 may apply to loading shovel operations. The correct answer is. 1. When you are getting in and out of the cabin. 2. When you are inspecting the engine compartment. Question 25. An operator has been asked to transport a bucket of spoil down the public highway, for which the Road Traffic Act applies. What effect can this have on this activity? The correct answer is 1. The operation can only be done for a maximum distance of 1,000 yards one off. 2. The machine must respect the Road Traffic Act, insurance, taxation, lights, brakes, mirrors, etc., 
and the driver must have full UK driving license category B. Question 26. Manufacturers' operators' manuals normally determine the direction of travel on steep slopes. If this information is not supplied, what is the general rule that applies to traveling on steep slopes? The correct answer is the load, counterweight if no load, always facing uphill. Question 27. A. What determines the minimum distances that any part of plant and machinery has to be kept from overhead electricity lines, and B. Explain why a distance should be kept. The correct answer is A. The amount of voltage that runs through the electricity lines and the support used for the electricity lines, wooden poles or metal poles, and B. Because the electricity can arch or jump gaps. Question 28. Explain all visual checks that must be carried out on all types of quick hitch bucket attaching systems before use. The correct answer is 1. Check for any signs of damage to the coupler. 2. Check for cracks or wear that might reduce the strength. 3. Check for oil leaks. 4. Check if attachments are the correct size and weight. 5. Check if coupler is tested and certified. 6. Check for excessive play which will allow too much movement and might make unsafe to use it. 7. Check if all parts are fitted. 8. Check if locking pin or device is in correct position. Question 29. State two requirements of using a stop block or earth bank, berm, at a trench discharging point. The correct answer is 1. Stops the machine rolling into the trench. 2. Reduces the danger of trench collapse. Question 30. A. What is the purpose of a method statement, and B. What is required of the operator? The correct answer is A. A method statement describes how the work will be done safely and efficiently. B. The operator must be compliant with the method statement. Question 31. Why are plant operators generally regarded as safety critical workers? The correct answer is. The plant operators are considered safety critical workers because of the potential risk of an accident, they can cause harm to themselves or others if they do an unsafe act. Question 32. In what situation does a hard hat not need to be worn when operating a loading shovel? The correct answer is. When the operator is in an enclosed structure that meets the FOPS regulations. Question 33. What three main duties of the Health and Safety at Work Act must employees follow? The correct answer is. 1. Protect themselves and other who may be affected by their acts or omissions. 2. Cooperate with the employer. 3. Avoid interference, intentionally or recklessly with anything provided for safety. Question 34. Give four reasons that may cause the loading shovel to tip over sideways. The correct answer is. 1. Turning in speed. 2. Turning with the bucket raised. 3. Uneven load in the bucket. 4. Turning on slopes or ramps. 5. Soft ground and incorrect tire pressure. Question 35. What allows the wheels to follow the contours of the ground when traveling on uneven ground? The correct answer is. The oscillating pivot allows wheels to follow uneven ground providing traction. Question 36. Give two reasons why the loading shovel operator should have an understanding of the type of material being loaded. The correct answer is. 1. It can affect the transportation of materials, EX silt will stick to the body of the truck. 2. A denser material may overload the tires before the bucket is full. Question 37. How are loading shovel bucket sizes calculated? 
The correct answer is in cubic meters, M3. Question 38. Name three ways in which an operator can minimize their impact upon the environment whilst using the machine. The correct answer is 1. Switch off engine while the machine is not in use. 2. Check tires pressure. 3. Do not overfill while refueling, clean up any spillage. 4. Dispose any waste correctly. 5. Plan the work prior to start to maximize work efficiency. Question 39. When working in a confined area or space. A. What danger can be present with regards to the counterweight of the machine? B. What is the recommended minimum distance? And C. What measures must be implemented if the gap is less? The correct answer is. A counterweight can get close to structures creating a hazard and increasing the risk of damage or harm to workforce. b. The minimum distance between the machine and obstacles is 600 mm. c. Fences should be placed surrounding the area with appropriate signage and access restricted. Question 40. Many loading shovels have a turbocharged engine. a. What is the normal procedure before switching off the engine after working, and b, what happens if the procedure is not followed? The correct answer is a, leave the engine running for a couple of minutes before switching off, b, shortens the life of the turbo. Question 41. When traveling on wet clay or rock, what effect does this have on the loading shovel? The correct answer is. Traction is reduced which may cause the operator to lose control. Question 42. What are the possible outcomes of facing prosecution for not complying with legislation and regulations? The correct answer is. If facing prosecution at the court hearing there are two possible outcomes. 1. You can prove that you fulfilled the legal requirements and you are probably going to be found not guilty. 2. You are found guilty and you face a prison sentence or a substantial fine. Question 43. During work, the engine starts to overheat. Explain the danger if someone tries to remove the radiator or expansion tank cap. The correct answer is. Removing the radiator tank cap will cause the hot liquid inside to be released under pressure and could cause burns. Question 44. On a semi-automatic quick hitch bucket attachment system. A. What is the purpose of the safety pin? And B. What checks must be made to the pin before use? The correct answer is. A. The purpose of the safety pin is to prevent the unclasp of the latch system. B. Should be checked if it is in the locked position and correct place also for wear, cracks and damage. Question 45. What is the purpose of a roll or ROPS frame? The correct answer is. The purpose of ROPS is to provide protection in the eventuality of a rollover with the machine. Question 46. The operator has been asked to drive the machine onto a transporter or trailer. A. Who is responsible for the loading operations, and B. State four actions to be considered by the operator before loading commences. The correct answer is. A. The transporter driver is responsible for the loading operation. B. 1. A level area with sufficient room to maneuver should be selected. 2. Check for overhead obstructions. 3. The machine should be clean. 4. The transporter should be suitable and in good condition. 5. The ramps should be adjusted to fit the machine. 6. The operator's manual should be consulted to find the loading procedure. 7. The area should be clear of people and other plant. Question 47. When parking the machine at the end of the shift, Name three places where the machine should not be parked. 
The correct answer is 1. Do not park in front of entrances or exits. 2. Do not park on soft ground. 3. Do not park on pedestrian routes. 4. Do not park on slopes. 5. Do not park close to trenches or stockpiles. Question 48. If a load has to be tipped on a slope, what may happen if the load is tipped downhill and why? The correct answer is 1. The center of gravity moves. 2. The loading shovel may tip forward because of the added weight of the full bucket. Question 49. The operator is asked to tip material into a trench. State five different requirements that must be considered or implemented before tipping commences. The correct answer is 1. Check trench edge or shoring. 2. Check if all personnel have cleared the trench. 3. Check access and egress route. 4. Check for surrounding hazards. 5. Check if you have authorization to do the job, permit to work. Question 50. Describe one physical method of checking that the attachment is fully secured to the coupler prior to work. The correct answer is. Implement rotation through complete range as close to the ground as possible. Question 51. What is regarded as the most productive position for the dump truck to be in when being loaded by a wheeled loading shovel working from a stockpile? The correct answer is. The most productive way to load a dump truck is to position the dump truck at a 50 to 60 degrees to the heap and create a Y shape for the shovel. Question 52. Before manually changing any bucket. A. Where should the bucket be positioned, in relation to the ground, before removing the final pin, and B. Explain why. The correct answer is. A. The bucket should be placed on the ground. B. To prevent striking of personnel. Question 53. Where should the loading shovel's operator's manual be kept and why? The correct answer is. The operator's manual should be kept inside the machine in a place where the operator has easy access. Question 54. A. What is the minimum distance allowed near open trenches when traveling with a loaded loading shovel? And B. Explain why. The correct answer is. A. Greater than the trench depth. B. Getting too close to a trench can cause it to collapse. Question 55. A. Give one advantage, and B. Two disadvantages of rear-mounted cameras. The correct answer is. A. Allows the operator to see directly behind the machine. B. 1. The camera has a limited view. 2. The view can be blinded by the sunlight. Question 56. If setting up to work in a pedestrianist area, state three factors that need to be taken into account. The correct answer is. 1. Safe route for pedestrians with appropriate signage should be provided. 2. Make sure there is enough room for materials and machine movements. 3. Noise, dust, and fumes should be kept to a minimum. 4. Method statement and risk assessments are in place. Question 57. If the operator has loaded the machine onto a transporter or trailer on behalf of a driver, what checks must be carried out before they leave the cab? The correct answer is. 1. The machine is in the agreed position. 2. Hydraulic operated components are grounded and pressure removed. 3. Parking brake is applied and engine switched off. 4. Windows shut. Question 58. Why should different materials be segregated during extracting? The correct answer is. Because the soils can be reused elsewhere. Question 59. Whenever possible, 
who should decide the positioning of the dump truck when being loaded? The correct answer is the loading shovel operator. Question 60. What is the purpose of the counterweight of the machine? The correct answer is the counterweight minimizes the overturning effect of a front loading machine. Question 61. Apart from the operator, who else may need to use the machine's operator's manual? The correct answer is maintenance staff, supervisors, and transporter drivers. Question 62. Give three possible reasons why loading shovels should not stray off the designated travel routes. The correct answer is 1. Can get stuck because of the ground conditions. 2. Can ruin ground prepared for works. 3. May stray onto designated routes for other plant. Question 63. Why must the seat belt be worn, even with the cab door closed? The correct answer is. Wearing the seat belt will keep the operator stable in the seat in the eventuality of a rollover. Thank you for watching and good luck for your test, 2021, UK. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to support this channel.